Howdy, y'all. So we had another question that we are taking a moment to answer. This question comes from Jason Flakes. Hey Trent, what are you using to push through your spaces when you're filming? It's so smooth. Well, we actually use several different things he was referencing a Unispace video, and we have a specific approach that we came up with for shooting that. So, we used either a tripod or a sturdy stand. Again, depending on what we're shooting, uh, the scale of what we're shooting, and the distance we want to cover, we've been taking different approaches. You can obviously do a whole track system, but that is a lot of time, money, effort, what we've been doing is we've been using either a tripod or a hefty stand and then we add wheels to the bottom of it so it can slide and roll around pretty easily. So we get some casters on the bottom of this thing and it rolls really well. With the uh, tripod or stand on casters, you can really get a nice shot. The thing that we would do with this is we add a gimbal motion control stabilizer to the top. We graduated from using the Mark IV for video up to the C200. What you'd have is you'd have that ability to walk through a space while controlling your Z axis and you could walk through and because you had the casters on you could go straight but pan left and you wouldn't have all that shake because the motion stabilization would just let you kind of naturally flow back and forth wherever you wanted to go. And it really smooths out the whole thing, works really, really well. Any little bit of bump or anything, tiny bit that you get from the floor, you can usually take out and post very easily. The thing I am looking for are better casters. And I would kind of like if I could fix them so they only go straight because right now sometimes they kind of wander. So it takes a lot of uh, control, physical control while you're using it, but it's a great setup. It works really well. Got to make sure you fix your focus on manual focus at a depth that you're comfortable with. That's how we do that thing. The other ones that we'll use occasionally uh, will be this, I think that's Slider Plus Head Pro from Edelkrone, which I really like, but it does have its drawbacks. And then we also have, I think this is the Cine Slider pocket dolly from Kessler and both of these work really well for different things so you get a lot of motion out of it uh, because of the unique way that it travels it's really smooth and it's really precise and it's really quiet uh, those are the benefits of it and it's really easy to set up so you'd have your camera on here you just manually move it over point it there and then on your phone you push a button and it's there, and then for your second position, you move it, do whatever, say it's gonna be up there, you push another button, it's there. And then you can do that with, I think with a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth one. Um, you can have it just continually loop between two positions back and forth while you're interviewing. Again, it's quiet, it's smooth. The drawbacks of this Edelkrone system, uh, and you can, you can power it from a battery pack here, or you can plug it in. You can use the battery pack to power other things and you can get focus modules and everything else to add on here. It's, it's really well built, really well made, uh, really well designed. I, I like it a lot, but it, I have found the app and the interaction with this to be a little buggy. I found it to be very, very sensitive, like it'll be traveling along and then it'll stop and it'll kind of do a and then you have to reset the app and you have to power on and off this. And then when you're doing that like 10, 15 times a day with a client, that can get really annoying. And I don't know exactly what the fix is there, but when you get it working, it works really good, but I found it to be sensitive. When you're under pressure and doing that, it's kind of hard, but all that ability to easily work with it uh, and to get quiet, smooth movement is great, and I love it for that. Uh, the only other thing I don't like about this thing is that it doesn't switch to going vertical, up and down. It can't do that, and that's limiting. And so on some shoots where they want us to get both vertical riser shots and sliding shots, I couldn't rely on solely this. We've had this one the longest. This is the Kessler. This thing is like a reliable tank. It's very basic. It's very powerful. You can flip it to go uh, vertical riser shots. It can carry a fair amount of weight. I don't think it would do riser shots with the C200 though, so that's a little bit of an issue. And if you buy this added parallax, 
you can have that great movement where you start over here pointing that direction and then as you go it points over to that direction. Um, you got this thing that wires in and you can control it back and forth, but I don't think there's an ability to loop it uh, on this controller. I know you can buy other controllers and have different setups, but with the setup we have with this basic controller, you can't loop it. So you have to have someone there manually slowing it down, speeding it back up to go back and forth during an interview. The downside of this system, it's just very loud and for interviews, you, I've found myself really having to put my entire coat around the motor head to get it quiet enough to where we can record audio and for it to be not an issue. But other than that, it's, it's super reliable and it's gonna work like you expect it to work every time. I'm, I'm thinking for our traveling, when we travel and shoot, I'll have this and then I'll just have to get like a, uh, pocket crane or something to, to do that with. That's a pretty quick breakdown of the multiple different ways that we shoot footage with that movement combined. It depends if you're really wanting to push through a big space, uh, just this little bit of movement here is not gonna be enough to get that feeling of walking through a space. So you're gonna wanna use something like the tripod on dolly wheels to get that, and then if you're wanting to have something where you're outside, like if you're hiking and moving around and shooting outdoors and audio is not an issue, I would go with something more like the Kessler. Although Edelkrone does make more simple uh, sliders and everything else as well that aren't as involved as far as the pan tilt options. And then the other thing you want to do right now, I have this on a pretty meager tripod here. We'd never use it on this tripod actually. We'd always be using it on this uh, bigger, more aggressive video uh, head where you have that. There's a technical name for these that we'll put up right here. Bing! Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're using for these. Um, and I, I thought we'd buy this and completely sell this one, but I found that this just for some of the more rugged outdoor stuff that we do sometimes, we still have to have this one. It's, it's just kind of like a tank that's gonna do what you want it to do and not be too sensitive. So um, yeah, if you have any questions or feedback or if you're Edelkrone or Kessler and wanna sponsor us to use some of your stuff, we are on board completely. Let us know your thoughts, comments, criticism, and praise in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share nonstop. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you have any questions.